Welcome back everyone, it's Sylvia from Aussie Scrapper. Today I have an unboxing for you from Auntie Vera's Scrap and Craft. And I will start with the September papers. So this is for the September projects that I'll be making. And as you probably guessed, I'm on her design team for September. And very proud to be so. So the collections is from, for September is going to be from Cordia Creations. And it's the Sweeping Plains collection. Very Australiana. So this is the first paper I'm starting off with. And absolutely love it. Love, 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 love. Very Australian, as you can see. Oh, it's got Queensland there. Well, um, yes, love it, love it. And this is the other side of that same paper. So, there's Queensland, South Australia. Oh, map of Australia with some lovely gum trees and oh no idea what i'm doing yet so i'm sure i'll work out once i start looking for my photos for it's very australiana now this paper here is paper one of the sweeping plans collection very nice and uh, paper two so this is paper two and i'll just show you so you can get a full effect isn't that gorgeous love those wattles and the other side of paper too. Oh, look at that. Oh, I like. Well, I'm going to have to start looking through my photos. I'm leaving it a bit late, but anyway. And this is um, paper three. Look at this. Gorgeous, gorgeous theme. The kangaroo and it looks like... I'm looking at this paper and I'm thinking the dry lakes of Potato Point. Um, they can also be the wet lakes, but it's also the... Well, it's actually known as the wet and dry lakes of Potato Point. During droughts, it's a dry land. And during... Um, well, when we're not in drought, it's the wetland. So I might actually like to scrap that because it looks very similar to, to that if anyone's been to Potato Point. I have a little spot in New South Wales down south, just, just past Badala. Oh, look at that. So, loving the other side of it. Hmm. I'm going to have to start looking through my all my photos. And this is paper four. And, yes, it's lovely colours. It has a kookaburra. Mm. Um, anyone that knows me knows I'm not a fan of birds. But kookaburra, hey? Very Australian a bird and... Um, have a nice laugh to them. So, wonder what I do with that one. Then we have paper five, and uh, it is lovely colours, but you know, Vera, birds. You know how I feel about birds. My lolly lolly. But for anyone that likes birds, then some of these papers are appropriate for you. And this is the other side. I do like that sort of murky muddy look um i'll probably use this side more than that side but i'd like to use these colors here because eh, birds i know there's a lot of bird lovers out there i'm just not one of them so here we go this is paper number six and look at that isn't that beautiful sort of landscape and the outback love it love it love it and then the other side is this gorgeous sort of pale yellow with wattle flowers all around it i'll just see if you can get a closer look up there because it's pretty it's a nice subtle paper loving that and then we go on to paper seven now paper seven is trying to work. yep it's the right side up um it's very coastal if it looks like it's got different little postcards of australia so oh love that love that look of the dolphin and the I wonder if that's done at a, um, you know, Queensland, way, wet wild, wherever that place is. Doing. I'm trying to think of loving, loving that sort of a beach field down the bottom. And the other, oh, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I love patterns like that. Mm -mm. Then we go on to paper eight. And this one is, well, they're all called sweeping planes. It's paper eight. And lovely colors look at the lovely colors but that damn bird Ugh. sorry birds 
Maybe I should pick these papers for when I'm not on the design team. Because hmm. I'm never going to scrap birds. Well, I shouldn't say never because I actually have scrapped um, something for my children about their granny and her kookaburras. And so I shouldn't say I don't scrap birds because occasionally I might. And I might even surprise everyone and do a bird layout. Who knows? So this one is paper nine. And oh, look at that. Just the koala bears. Oh, I just love it. And it's got like a lovely poem there. Twas the famous empire. Can't read it. <laughs> I need my glasses. Um, anyway, this is the other. Oh, look at that. Love that. Oh, that is gorgeous. Oh, mm -mm. I know. I sound like I'm going to eat my paper, don't I? And this one is paper 10. Look at that. Oh, love that. Warata. I think that's a warata. I get my flowers mixed up sometimes. Oh, look at the other side. Oh, I love that. I love the red red earth. I still got the map of Australia there faintly. Oh, love it, love it. Then we move on to well that was paper that was paper ten. So paper eleven is got all these little project life cards whatever whatever they're called I just had a mental blank and yes very Australiana sayings g'day mate we are one but we are many fair dinkum Australia we share a dream she'll be right no oh, no matter how far or how, how far I roam I love that a bit of hard yakka is all is all it needed oh miss you mate oh Oh, got ideas now. Juices are flowing. Look at that. Oh, so it's like a, a border of each of the other papers that I've shown you earlier. Love that. And paper 12. And oh, postcards. I love it. They look, it's reminded me of postcards. That's why I'm saying postcards. So love it love it and look at the other side oh isn't that gorgeous oh love it love it love it and so they're the papers now so they're all the core products now for the month of september and what i'm going to show you now are my chosen products for the month of september which are my my core my core chosen products and it's these ones here these lovely finlets sort of a, got a corner and some leaves and oh Oh, look at that. So cute. So, can't wait to see what I do with that. And I've got a few more dies this year. This time round, I should say. Not this year. And this one here is a Courtier Creations die. And it's called Barbed Wire. And I'm hoping to use that on a photo. I'm, I'm hoping I've got some photos of us when, or my husband, or us when we're doing the fencing for keeping the sheep in. And then there's this lovely blooming protea, and this is also a, a Cordia Creations from the Sweeping Plains. What's the other one? Yes, and the barbed wire was also from the Sweeping Plains collection, so love that. And my other chosen product was the Sweeping Plains ephemera. Now I've taken it all out because I I don't like the the reflection I get from the from the plastic so i have opened these earlier and look at these gum leaves and some all these little different tags from from around australia like sydney brisbane melbourne adelaide birds vera birds again hmm. and lovely little dyes look at these all gorgeous sure i'll use them somehow and uh also this lovely lest we forget some little chipboard so i might be doing a anzac or and what else uh oh these are the, the the die cuts the ephemera which i just put there and i also did a bit of shopping for myself so this is what i bought for myself which i might use on these projects i might not so these are some finlets and these are the what are they called? Oh, where are they? Alpha numerical, alpha numerical tiny type 
upper. Look at these are so tiny, honestly. Oh, I'm not sure how I'm going to do this, but look at how tiny they are. Look at those little M. This is the uppercase one. So that's that one. And I also got the lowercase one. So these ones are the lowercase one, one and a quarter inch. So they're quite tiny as well. So, uh, can't wait to see them use them and I needed this I didn't have this color in my collection of distress inks I'm trying to finish my collection off of distress inks so I had to get this one here just to add an orange to my collection and I also got this lovely ephemera pack from Kaiser Craft Kaiser Craft collectibles and this one is called oh, morning dew right there can you see it? Morning dew. So loving all these beautiful sort of grateful flowers. And yes, I might use them with the courtier creations. Who knows? And Vera being Vera and so generous, she just gave me this lovely little K, um, Graphic 45 Bloom collection. And I love that. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? So this might be good for my... I've got a uh, gardening album where I sort of put photos of my garden. It's pretty boring. But that is it. So thank you, everyone. And let's, um, I'll see you all soon with all my layouts that I make with this, these lovely, lovely products. Anyway, bye, everyone.